everything. <laughs> gut health is everything. It's the first thing I start with, with sugar. I start with your gut health and I start with your diet. And when you get your gut health on track, God bless you, and you start getting chemicals out and we start tweaking your food, those two things alone, I've seen miracles happen. Blood pressure goes down, cholesterol goes down, belly fat, anxiety goes down. We start to sleep again. We get our memory back. Our acne clears. I, our headaches go away. And so gut health is um, numero uno for me. We, without that, and to answer your question, sugar takes out your gut health. And the sucralose and all these artificials, I'm teaching a, a class on that right now in the Freedom Club which is where I now house the sugar. I'm all about freedom, mm. sugar freedom method, the freedom club. And I'm teaching a four week gut health class in there actually this week, uh, we're on class two. And I talk about how the bad bacteria is fed in your gut by artificial sweeteners, makes mm. those little buggers grow. And so whew, we're not doing ourselves any good, saving calories, zero sugar. We're taking out our gut health. And without that, you're taking out your immune system and you're taking out the serotonin, which is the feel good hormones that feed your, your, your brain. So let's go. Yeah. <laughs> let's have a conversation about it. You're in my world now. Yeah. Very important. It's everything. Okay. It's everything. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I mean, I, I say the first thing is mindset. The second thing is the gut. Right. And I'm sure you agree with that. Um, yeah. And what you just mentioned briefly as well is, you know, it's the, it's the gut brain axis as well. And how if your microbiome is dysbiotic, that can lead to things like depression, anxiety oh. and all sorts of um, kind of mental issues as well. Um, so that, that's that's a major factor, isn't it? Major. And while I agree with you on the mindset piece, this is where my friend cuts me off. <laughs> so people can't get, okay, so most women come to me with anxiety stuff, okay? And don't get me started on constipation and colon cancer. Most women come to us with gut dysbiosis and they're constipated for years and doctors just say, oh, it's menopause. And I'm like, have your doctor call me. Here's my cell phone number. I'm sick of it, okay? I'm sick of it. There's so many things. We fix constipation, okay? We fix those things. It's not related. It is, but it's not. But my point is a lot of times if there's a lot of anxiety, I say, look, just follow our protocol. And if you can't get your mind right, it's okay. I'll get your mind right through the back door of fixing your gut. And they go, oh, you're right. I feel a little more hopeful. And so I sometimes need to fix the gut and, and women, God bless them, go on blind faith that I've been doing this so long. And they say, I'm so confident and convincing. That they're like, all right, I'll just come. I trust you. I said, thank you so much. That's why I offer a guarantee and a money back guarantee. Just come. Let us help you so you're not, like you said, stuck, you know, in this one body miserable. And you've got decades ahead of you. Like who wants to live in that way? You know, not me. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So when you're working with someone, so you start with mindset. What's what? Well, the gut would be next. Yeah, it's. Well, it's the five-step method. Let's go there. But I tell women to jump around, mm. okay, with where they need. So if mindset really is a mess, it's great. I teach that once a month in the club. So you work on your mindset. And then you work on nutrition. That's another call a month, nutrition. And so you start upping your nutrition. And gut health is one of the first things, right? So it's, it's your mindset. It's tweaking your food to get some chemicals off while you're working on your, your, your gut health. I'm going to tell you now, module one of the method is visualize it. And if you've got a schedule that is crazy and you have no time for anything, everything you and I just talked about ain't going to work. Mm. So I make women, I make them, let's look at your schedule. Let's look at your boundaries and lack of boundaries around your schedule yep. and that you can't say no, because that's the stuff. It's a foundation. Yeah. If, if, if you're so packed, well, you, you're not going to remember to drink a glass of water when you wake up and you're not going to be able to actually eat real food and you're eating the processed stuff because your schedule is a problem. But what's yeah. the problem with your schedule is you don't say no and you're going and your mother, like mine, was like always busy. My mother always says she's busy. I'm like, God, you're 76. 
You work some, no one's in the house, you're not married. Like, what do you got to do on a Sunday? I'm busy, Jennifer. Okay, busy is a disease of the mind. <laughs> and I have to undisease that. And so, yeah, it's all these pieces. So we do that, your schedule. And then, tell me, tell me, tell me. I'm just going to quickly jump in because there's a great saying that says, your yes has no value until you learn how to say no. Oh, I've never heard that. That's pretty, pretty deep, isn't it? You know, say it again. Your yes your, has no value. Your yes has no value until mm -hmm. you learn how to say no. That's beautiful. 